With EU officials saying that we need to flatten the curve of energy consumption, we may now be staring down the barrel of what effectively amounts to a climate lockdown. This is Ben Scallon and you're watching Gripped Media. Before we start the video, if you want to support Gripped and our work, make sure to click like, subscribe and comment, even if you have absolutely nothing to say. Just comment if you will comply with energy rationing measures this winter. Because by liking, commenting and sharing, this channel will get boosted in the algorithm and get seen by more people. So if you want to see this channel grow, just take two seconds right now to like, comment and do your part to support independent journalism. And with that said, on to the video. EU leaders can dress up the incoming winter energy restrictions with any fancy media spin they want, but ultimately let's call a spade a spade. These are climate lockdowns. After all, the last time the world heard the phrase flatten the curve from politicians, we were promised a brief six week disruption to our lives for the greater good. What we instead got was years of catastrophic damage to our economy and health, crushing state overreach and an unprecedented erosion of our most fundamental human and civil rights. What seemed to be a six week inconvenience turned into a years long dystopian power grab and wealth transfer by the global business and political elite. And now this year we hear that there is yet another curve which needs to be flattened, this time in regards to energy. As European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen said last week, the EU will propose a mandatory target for reducing electricity electricity use at peak hours in order to quote flatten the curve. So what we have to do is flatten the curve and uh, avoid the peak demands. We will propose a mandatory target for reducing electricity use at peak hours and we will work very closely with the member states to achieve this. The key word there, in case you missed it, is mandatory. You will not have an option but to cut your energy usage this winter, according to the EU. They intend to force you. Switzerland is already considering jailing people for up to three years if they heat their homes too much, referring to those who might hypothetically breach the regulations as heat sinners. Some will probably try to convince you that this is necessary. They'll tell you that unless we give the government control over how much energy we all consume, the power grid will simply not be able to keep up with the demand. But these are the same leaders who were recently warning countries not to backslide into using quote, dirty fossil fuels like coal, even though coal is a viable and reliable source of energy with a proven track record. So in other words, European leaders would rather control and curtail your right to use energy than jeopardize their so-called green agenda. There are potential solutions to the problem, but they are apparently more concerned about climate change. And so when the energy cuts come this winter, let's call them what they actually are, a climate lockdown. They can dress it up with whatever media spin they want and blame it on Russia till the cows come home. They can use whatever euphemisms they like, but let's get real, that's what it is. The energy crisis far predated the war and European energy independence has already been eroded by green policies for about a decade. This crisis was long in the making and not by Vladimir Putin. Over the last two years, the media floated the idea of climate lockdowns on more than one occasion and now it's coming to fruition. And in response, Europeans are taking to the streets en masse in protest. Thousands of protesters in Germany, thousands of protesters in France, thousands in the Czech Republic and elsewhere. People are rising up against the cost of living crisis or its real name, the cost of lockdown crisis because that's ultimately what got us here, insane lockdown policies. It turns out that central banks printing cash like it's a sport while governments deliberately disrupt the global supply chain, manufacturing and production with unnecessary restrictions might have had a negative impact on the economy down the line. Now who could have seen that one coming? Every one of these problems is a result of intentional policies and step one to ending this madness is to start being honest about what those policies are and who exactly is responsible. Before you go, if we have given you a voice at all with this commentary, please consider donating to Gripped monthly via the link on screen to help us continue this vital work. With your help, we can change the Irish media landscape for the better and bring a bit of reality back to the national conversation. Make sure to share this video with your friends and as always, thanks for watching.